Okay, now we're gonna do the uh, physical pre-trip on the trailer. So, we've checked to make sure that our fifth wheel plate is in good shape and our kingpin is good. Now we're hooked up to the unit. So now, we're, like I said, we're gonna check our glad hands. We're checking our glad hand rubbers, okay? Make sure you have a good seal. Because we'll be checking for air leaks after, okay? Make sure your front knock plate is in good shape, okay? Make sure your inspection sticker is valid for the trailer, okay? Looking down the side of your frame rail, make sure there's no damage on your frame rail. Your rub rail on the side of the trailer, if it has it, make sure it's in good shape and it's not tore or broken. Physical condition down the side of the trailer, there's no cuts, abrasions, or leaks of any kind, okay? You're gonna check your hook bolts here for your cross members. Your cross members run underneath your trailer. Like I say, it's a visual inspection. You look down underneath, make sure there's none broke, cracked, or anywhere of any kind. Everything looks to be okay. Looking at your bolts down here. Your landing gear, very important. Make sure you got no bro breaking or cracking in your landing gear, because your landing gear takes a lot of stress. Make sure it's all secure and there's no physical damage. Make sure your crank is operational, which it is. Secure lockers in place, which it is, okay? You're doing a visual check on the upper side for your lights. And then your frame rail down here, you're checking for your lights down here, okay? Your underskirting, make sure it's secured. Your fuel tank, cap is on secure, give it a shake, make sure your tank is secure and your fuel gauge, make sure it's in operation, okay? It's gonna keep coming back, make sure it's secure. Again, checking your frame rail and your hook bolts, the side of your trailer, your rub rail, and your plaque chart holders. Sometimes these are known to have the bolts back off, make sure it's secure, okay? Again, you're gonna check up top for all your lighting. Making sure everything's secure here again. And your skirting, frame rail, and your hook bolts again, okay? Make sure that your safety tape is all good on the sides, okay? Your tape has to be 50-50 on the sides. It has to be 100% on the back for DOT regulation, okay? Physical side of the trailer, your lights again. Have a good look at the deckling on your trailer. Make sure that it's not coming off, that it's secure. Make sure your trailer's marked for the 13.6 and the 41 foot mark, which is here. Make sure they're on there and indicated, okay? You're gonna look under here. You're just gonna do a physical look underneath the inside of your wheels, any air lines, anything that looks like it might be chafing of any kind, okay? You're checking your tires from in under here, okay? You're checking your slide box for your dump valve to lower your air right, and for your bogey rail pins for sliding your wheels. Make sure everything is good in there. Always make sure you keep this box closed. Your airline spring bogey, it's right here. Make sure everything is in place and secure and nothing, no airlines are hanging. I'm gonna check the inside of your tires. You're gonna check between your tires. You're gonna check your tire depth. Make sure your tire depth is good. You're gonna look for any physical cracking. Braking of any kind, anything doesn't look right on your tire, any cuts. You're gonna look at your rim. Okay, make sure your rim is in good shape, you don't see any cuts. Make sure you have a look at your lug nuts, make sure they're tight. Most of our trailers have the uh, red lock indicators on to make sure that they are tight. Okay, no physical coloring or discoloration or cracks of any kind. You're gonna check your hub oil, okay? The clear eye in here be able to see if there's oil in there or no oil on the levels. Some of them have the red tag or the red uh, stopper plug in the middle. You can pull it out and you can check with your finger deep. Should come to your first knuckle, okay? Again, just looking at the uh, bogey itself to be in good operation. And again, your frame rails. So now we're coming to the back of the trailer. Doing the same thing with this axle as we did on the front one. You're checking for your uh, mud flap hanger springs. 
Make sure they're good. If they hit the spring, check in your mud flap hanger and check in your mud flap in general. Make sure it's secure. You're looking at the back here again for uh, air lines, checking for your airbags and anything that might be leaking or broken and inside wear or cracks on your tires or wheel seal leaking of any kind. So when you hook up to your trailer, your ABS light is going to flash on and off. When it goes back out, it's indicating that the system is working. Plus when you plug in your light cord, you're going to hear a delay indicator sound that's going to make a noise and is going to run down to the back of the trailer to make sure that your system is in operation. Okay, you're going to make sure that your uh, door hook is secure. Okay, a light again. Back of the trailer. You're going to look for any physical damage right away. Make sure all of your uh, lights are all in good operation. Make sure your door hooks are in good operation. Make sure all your door hinges are not broke and they're all fastened. Okay. Make sure your door stops are all on in place here. These here are bumper stops. They can get worn down or get loose or broken. Make sure your dock bumper stops are in good order. Okay. The license plate. Make sure it's registered and make sure your light's working, which it is. Your ICC tape, 100% across the back. I think I mentioned that earlier. Okay. I'm going to physically look inside the trailer. Make sure there's no damage to the inside of the trailer. Make sure your chute is secure. Floor is secure. No cuts, no breaks of any kind, no damage. And another big thing, make sure there's no scent in your trailer. Make sure your trailer is clean, that there's no odors in there. Make sure the seals in the door are good. And make sure your drain holes are plugged in the corner here. As you can see here, drain holes need to be plugged in the front corners and the back corners. Okay, once you close the doors, make sure your latches are secure. Make sure your doors are hooked in the top. Make sure your door hooks here are secure, okay? Make sure your bumper is in good standing, okay? Solid. Side of the trailer, same thing down this side. You're gonna check all your lights. You're gonna check all your hook bolts. You're gonna check all your cross members underneath from this side. Physical damage, all your lights in the top, your rub rail, your mud flap hanger, your mud flap. Underneath you're gonna be checking for your airbag, any kind of air leaks or any kind of wheel seal or any chafing of any kind underneath, okay? Check your tires again, check your rims. Check your lug nuts and check your hub axle fluid in here also, okay? Again, we're checking for our ICC tape here. Making sure our skirting is secure, okay? Clock card, holder, all our lights. Again, down the side of the trailer, physical damage. Rub rail, frame rail, make sure all your hook bolts are in good shape. There's no corrosion. Okay, make sure all your cross members are good. Your landing gear, make sure that's solid and secure. Again, you're checking for any sign of weakness or anything that's broke or cracked. Okay. Underneath the trailer, you're looking for your uh, cross members again on this side. And anything up to the fifth wheel plate on this side. And your lights over this side of the part of the trailer. Any physical damage and anything of any kind. And Clock card holder, make sure it's secure. And finally, your document compartment in here. Make sure that all your paperwork for the trailer is in your compartment in there. It's just a matter of screwing it one way, half a turn, it'll pop back out. And all your paperwork is in there, insurance or registration, or possibly inspection for your trailer will be in there. There, that's a complete pre-trip on your trailer. That'll keep you away from the DOT probably hopefully keep you out of the shop for a lot of time and it's going to keep you from getting a phone call from me have a good day